Hello YouTube, it's been a while. Thought I'd show you one of my latest little creations here. Sorry I didn't record this yesterday, but I've been working on this little mold for a couple days. I sort of just got a little carried away and decided to pour a little bit of resin into it. The piece you're gonna the piece inside that took a couple weeks to finish I got one that's much longer I thought I'd do a smaller one just to see how it turns out I also got a new blank to show you can't wait to do the big reveal and show you what this thing looks like after it's done because I just poured the resin in Unfortunately, with all the holes yesterday, had a lot of leakage, so I had to use a hot glue gun. But this little pendant is going to look really interesting. I can't wait till it's finished. Alright, I got to pause for one second, and so I can show y'all some of the other stuff I've been working on. Now, I've been wanting to show y'all how I've been making these, but I still don't have a decent setup, but this is a, some type of stem. It, this one took a lot of work. All those little bumps inside is what um, your pine needles grow out of. And if I can get a decent close-up, apparently the the light from the camera is is just reflecting too much. So hopefully I'll try to get a decent picture of it later. But there's actually a little bloom up there inside. I don't know if you can all see that. Now, here's another one of the same pieces with my homemade pigment. On side that um, that I made from dyeing my <laughs> I lost for words right now sawdust and then applying it to the piece. Now this is my first little clover pendant it still needs a little bit more work now this was a little bit of fun I'm actually thinking about keeping it just the way it is but I still want to encase it in resin I might work on the shape a little bit more <clears throat> now this has been taking me a while but unfortunately I got some holes but I couldn't didn't know about those holes until I removed it from the can and if any of you want to ever attempt to use the same material you're going to need a lot of caps from the core water bottles and inside I don't know if you can tell but that's actually a pine cone I also got a couple of other blanks I want to show you as well Now this one took a little bit of time and I thought I'd try something a little different by adding pine needles to it. But it didn't seem to um, work as you see so I'm going to have to remove this end of the blank. This was actually a blank to be sent off so I can have this company turn it into a watch. I will try to leave the name of that company in the description below.
Now this one is completely made out of bags that you'd get from a, as you can tell, some of them are from a Dollar General, some are from a grocery store. It took almost 30 bags just to make this, and look how big this thing turned out. It takes a lot of these just to make one piece, but I think, even though it's, it's still a little rough in some areas, it's, it could still be turned into something cool. This is also what I'm wanting to send to the same company to be turned into a watch if it's big enough. And if this material looks familiar, that's where I got the material for this one. I actually just kind of trimmed it off the side and gave it a little bit of a different shape. And then cast it in there. I mean, I barely did anything with this. Now, this is one of my pieces I'm planning on putting down in resin. This took a lot of time. And you can find these just about anywhere. That's actually what's inside of this little mold here. But this one's just much longer, much thicker, so I'm going to have to make a much longer mold. Or maybe break it into two pieces. So let me know in the comments of what you think. Um, thank you for viewing my channel.